This is me infecting one player on my server. But imagine there were 50 more players to infect. Everyone has 10 minutes to stack up as much as they can before I become infected. If I kill a player or a player dies naturally, they become infected and then help me to infect other players. My goal is to infect every player on the server before time runs out. If I fail to do so, I lose the challenge. And I'll be doing many more events like this, so if you're interested in joining them, join my Discord using the link in the description. These first 10 minutes are the most important 10 minutes of this challenge, because if all goes well, I'll be able to get a good weapon to help me kill and infect more players. And I created a small plan to help me. Minute 1, get wood and make my way up to stone tools. Minutes 2 through 4, I would search for food and collect as much as I possibly can. Minutes 5 through 8, locate a cave and collect iron. Minutes 8 through 9, craft tools, weapons, armor, and prepare for minute 10. The game begins. Now all the players were scattered across the world and I knew my first few victims would be the hardest to find. So my best option was to follow the border all the way around trying to find lurkers on the outskirts of the map. And that's when I found my first target, Pop CJR. Come on, I need you to help me. I need you to help me hunt these guys. Come on, please, just come back, stop running. Don't run from me. Wait, what? How many hits can you take? I, I've hit him with my axe so many times. Oh, I got him. Now this first infection was a huge step for me, because every time I infect one player, they then help me find more, which means the bigger my team, the better. However, even with a bigger team, there are a few things I forgot to anticipate. Not all the players will be running along the surface trying to survive. The server seemed to split itself into two categories, the cave dwellers, who spent most of their time underground, and the sky basers, who built up to height limit to avoid getting infected. Got one. Someone just got killed by Cave Spider. Devrind, you don't even have armor, Dev. And you're gonna come stand under me like that? Oh, I got outplayed. I think Dev's just gonna distract me though, so I don't go up there and get those guys. Dev, come back here. This instant, I'll give you a kiss. Nice. After my infected team wiped the players on the ground, it was time to go for the Sky Basers. Now the Sky Baser strategy had two major flaws. The first being, regardless of how you died, either to me or fall damage, you still got infected. So without needing to do any work, tons of players have already fallen to their doom, causing my team size to nearly double by this point. The second flaw was that the Sky Basers had nowhere to go. If you keep going up, you hit height limit, and if you go down, there's an army of infected players at the bottom waiting to kill you. But that didn't stop some players from holding down the sky bases, and that's who we went for next. This looks like where a lot of people are. Oh, I see them all up there. Who's up there? Jack, Keir, Warmer, Cat. Okay. That's so high up. Oh, I almost destroyed Jack there. Just as I expected, we pushed many of the sky basers down, causing them to panic, making it easy for my team to clean them up. And now we got them off the top, which is good. Oh, hello, Keir. Oh, Kier, that was sick. I can't even lie, Kier. That was nice. Yes, the infected gang is all here. <laughs> We're all getting Kier. Here. Come back here. Jack is now infected. Oh, we almost got half of them already. Here, I want you, man. Come on. Not looking good for Kier here. Oh, there goes them. No! Go, my army. Get him! Kiri's playing hot to get. Yeah, Kiri is uh, going crazy right now. I think the, the squad might get Kiri. Kiri's just gonna play this corner the whole time. And do the same thing. Yes! We got Kiri! Finally! <laughs> Holy. At this point, the plan was going great until some people started building right back up to sky limit. During this time, I also realized that I was super undergeared compared to many of the non-infected players. But lucky for me, right when I needed gear the most, one player named Mampair, who I had previously seen in full enchanted diamond armor with enchanted diamond tools as well, said my name in chat, and when I walked up to him, he just gave me all his stuff and left. So thank you, Mainpair. Oh, Mainpair, you didn't have to. Mainpair, you did not have to, my man. 
Up until this point, everything was going perfect, except there was two players we were struggling to get a hold of, Rare Account Name and Yellow Wool. These players were going up and down towers, tunneling in the ground, and making insane plays to get away from us. To catch them and infect them, we would need to split up our forces and have half go up on the towers on the offense and half of the players waiting on the ground for them to fall or appear from underneath the surface. I decided I would be part of the group that went up to fight Rare Account Name, which turned out to be no easy task. We need to take this man down. He's lava monstering. That's actually kind of smart. I have no more blocks. Someone water. Oh, someone no. at the top water. Oh no. Where'd he go? Wait, up there. He's boating. Oh. oh. He just jumped into the water. He's going back. Come on, come on, come on. But they're going up so fast. Oh, they got stopped. What? I can't hit him. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is... They're playing risky right now. Oh my god, I can't even keep up. Where'd he go? There we go, they got doomed. Doomed to fall. Nice. There we go. Infected. We were chasing that guy for so long. And when it came to Yellow Wool, I decided to stay on the ground because I know that he's better at bridging than I am, while the rest of the group ventured into the sky to push him down. Is Yellow still up there? I assume so, since they're all going up. He's gonna have to come down. Yeah, he's gonna run out of space eventually, or this board is gonna catch up. This is insane. <laughs> come on, Yellow. You can't stay up there forever, Yellow. Oh, Yellow jumped. Oh. oh, Yellow jumped. And he pearled. How's Yellow pearl? Where did he get a pearl from? <laughs> and now he's going back up. Come on, bro. Oh. Someone has a bow? Oh. Yes, Yellow's done. Nice, Yellow. Or whoever killed Yellow. After infecting Rare Account Name and Yellow Wool, that left two players, Divine Carrot and Outer Soy. Unfortunately, Divine Carrot died to a silverfish somewhere, which meant that Outer Soy was the last person remaining. With 16 minutes to go, this was not looking good for the non-infected team. Now look, I'll admit what I did next was scummy, but without using this exploit, it would have been nearly impossible to find this player under the ground. By holding F3 and A at the same time, you can reload all the chunks, leaving only entities to be seen. And since players count as entities, I was easily able to locate the final player. Oh, I see one. Down here. Oh, hello. <laughs> How fitting. I got the last guy. Infected win. Let's go! Yeah, yeah.